Here inside the queue, the Cavs won their fifth game in a row, this time against the 76ers for the second time this week, 108-102, the final. Chris Fedor, Joe Vard, and Chris Haynes to recap this one. And guys, let's start with LeBron James. There was a scare from LeBron. He went down. Um, it was said after the game that he was kneed in the thigh or the quad. How concerning is this injury for LeBron as we get ready for the Indiana Pacers on Sunday? Well, we've seen this a bunch of times last season. Uh, he goes down, he's hurt, gets back up, uh, round the clock treatment the next day, and he plays. So I'm guessing that's mm -hmm. what happens, but they really want to be careful with him, uh, and it probably will stiffen up tomorrow. So it's something that you kind of have to wait and see. I was going to say, Chris, the approach that the Cavs have taken when it comes to injuries, it's this new approach, and they're being cautious with everybody. J.R. Smith has missed two games in a row because he's dealing with a bit of a sore knee and a sore uh, tendonitis in his quad. So do you expect the Cavs to take the same approach with LeBron, their leader? I, you know, I don't know. I, I think it's a high probability that he sits out of practice tomorrow. Mm -hmm. um, as far as the Indiana Pacers game, I think LeBron will go because Paul George. Just that whole <laughs> matchup. LeBron lives for those type of moments where it's a marquee type of a matchup. I, I think he'll play, but I think they'll probably sit him tomorrow. What did you think of LeBron's game tonight, Joe? It seemed like he had a different kind of aggressiveness. Yeah, I mean, this was his best game of the year, certainly. Uh, season highs in points and, and assists. And he hadn't been shooting well. Mm -hmm. you know, we had documented that. Yep. Um, and last night, I guess, after watching the Browns lose, uh, he went out uh, to his, the court in his house and got some shots up to try to break through that, and he certainly did tonight. LeBron James tonight, uh, 31 points, 12 of 22 from the field, 3 of 5 from three-point range. Also dished out uh, game-high 13 assists. We'll just have to wait and see if he's going to play on Sunday against Indiana.